Hi, I'm Dave, senior iOS developer here at What3Words. Today I'm going to show you how to add an auto-suggest component to your iOS app. First, we create an Xcode project for an app. The auto-suggest component is available through Swift Package Manager. So you add the Swift package to your project. This will in turn download its dependency, which is our API wrapper, which gives it access to the actual auto-suggest call and the convert to coordinates and so on. There we go. Now we begin to actually do the coding. First thing we do is import the Swift API, and then we import the Swift components. So now uh, we instantiate an API with an API key. You can get an API key from the developer website if you create an account there. Then we're going to instantiate the auto-suggest text field and give it a position on the screen. We then give a reference to the API to the text field so it can do the auto-suggest calls and whatnot. We're going to put a simple UI label on the screen so that we can view the results and add it to the view. Now, the auto-suggest text field has a closure you can assign to it that gets called when the user selects a suggestion. So we're going to add that here. And in the closure, we're going to assign the three words to the text of the UI label. Now we add our text field to the view and give this a run and see what happens. Our text field has come up. We can type in filled count so, and it provides us with selections. We choose one, it appears on the screen. That's all well and fine, but you can actually add voice if you set it in the text field. You set voice equal to true. Let's give that a run. It should show now a voice icon in the text field. We click on that. Filled count soap. It returns the suggestions. We select one and it shows. So that's how you add an auto-suggest component to your iOS project. Thanks for watching this video.